टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रॉब्लम ओके इन ए नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन व्हाट ही हैज गिवन इज दैट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द आइटम्स आर अंडर थर्टी फाइव एंड एटी नाइन परसेंट आर अंडर सिक्सटी थ्री फाइंड द मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द म्यू वैल्यू एंड सिग्मा वैल्यू यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द गिवन डेटा वाट ही हैज गिवन इज probability of x less than 35 is 0.07 that is nothing but 7% and x less than 63 is 0.89 he has given okay but in solving this type of problems always you have to consider one should be in terms of the less than and another should be in terms of the greater than x is less than 35 Here it is x less than also 63. Now you convert this one into the x greater than 63. X greater than 63 is nothing but 1 minus 0.89. That is nothing but 0.11. So one is less than, another one is greater than. Okay. For x is equal to 35, what is the z value? Let us consider. Z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. X is 35 minus mu by sigma. That is nothing but you can say as z1. 35 belongs to the Less than, therefore, always you consider this one uh, value as negative value. For 63, what the z value is? Z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. 63 minus mu by sigma. Mu and sigma values you have to find out. This value you consider as z2. This is always positive because 63 x greater than 63. Therefore, greater than symbol. That's why you consider it as a positive value. Now you consider the A bell-shaped car, which is having z is equal to zero, and z one you spot z one a negative value, is, place it in the left hand side. Z two positive value, place in the right hand side. Now x less than thirty five. X thirty five. Z one. Therefore, x less than thirty five is zero point zero seven. That means here it is zero point zero seven. Here you have it is zero point double one. Okay, x greater than sixty-three is zero point double one. So what is the area of this one? If it is zero point zero seven, what is the area of this one? To the left of this line, that is equal to zero. The total entire area is zero point five. Zero point five minus zero point zero seven. That means zero point four three. Similarly, zero point to the right of that zero point five area. 0.5 minus 0.11. You come across the 0.39 area. Okay. This areas you have to write it in terms of the mathematical notation. So z is equal to 0 to z is equal to z1. The area is 0.43. Z is equal to 0 to z is equal to z1. The area is 0.43. I am writing here. That implies z1 is equal to how much means minus 1.48. From 0.43, the value of z1 is minus 1.48. This value you can get it from the normal distribution tables. Okay. Similarly, z is equal to 0 to z is equal to z2. Z is equal to 0 means this one. Z is equal to z2 means this one. This area is 0.39. That implies z2 is equal to 1.23. That means this value also you can get it from the normal distribution tables. So, in the second point, you come across thirty-five minus mu by sigma is equal to z one. Similarly, sixty-three minus mu by sigma is equal to z two. Now we substitute the z one, z two values. Already we got z one, z two values. If you substitute, you are going to get the minus one point four eight. Similarly, here you are going to get the one point two three. So now two minus one. If you subtract two minus one, twenty-eight by sigma is equal to two point seven one. That implies sigma is Ten point double three two. Okay. Similarly, then how will you get the mu value? Now you consider this equation: thirty five minus mu by sigma is equal to z one. Or here this equation: thirty five minus mu by sigma is equal to minus one point four eight. Thirty five minus mu by sigma is equal to minus one point four eight. Therefore, thirty five minus mu by ten point double three two sigma value is. So if you simplify, you are going to get mu is equal to fifty point three. 
सो मी इजल फिफ्टी पाइंट थ्री अंड सिग्मा इज ईक्वल टेन पाइंट डबल थ्री टू वाट ईज इंग आस्किंग आलो फाइंड द मीन एंड स्टाडर्ड डीविएशन मीन इज फिफ्टी पाइंट थ्री अंड स्टाडर्ड डीविएशन इज टेन पाइंट डबल थ्री टू ओके थैंक यू